We honestly almost left without him because he wasn't what was advertised. He wasn't what we were looking for. He wasn't the project that we needed. We were just looking for some that we could train and then resell. But we couldn't leave without him because if we would have left him, he would have died. There's some boys that could probably relate to him. Let's present it and see if it's something that they're interested in seeing if some of the boys can come out and help us rehabilitate him. As soon as she said it, I was that, that's what I've been waiting for. Um, having worked with James, there's a lot of stuff that he has to deal with that he isn't willing to go there. And so when she said that, I mean, the light bulb went off for me and I was on board immediately because it is an avenue to discuss the abuse, the abandonment, the neglect, the emotional issues that he's not willing to process. And he can put it on the horse and it's safe and allows me to do the work with him. And so it was, it was one of those aha moments. As soon as she said it, I was like, okay, what do we have to do? He's not exactly the most comfortable once you're past this point, just because this is all new. So start here and then just kind of work your way back. And then if he starts to get worried, he gets a little bit worried back here, then just come back to a place he was comfortable with and then work your way back. I know, I know, you're just checking me out. Well, when the treatment team brought it up and Britta brought it to the treatment team, I instantly thought of David because David's got a history of sexual abuse and even though he'll verbally acknowledge the abuse, he doesn't like labeling it as abuse, he doesn't like feeling that he was vulnerable and taken advantage of. And so that's, as far as this horse, I, I expect him to, to relate with that, the, the vulnerability of the horse. It's their own stuff, but it's not about them, it's about the horse, which makes it safe. So then we can draw parallels and help them work through their own stuff, through the horse's experience. He's got old scars all over him. So there's probably got some feet issues too. So but he should have a lot more muscle tissue in his hind end. If you look on his back legs, he's got scars all the way up his back legs. I've been sunburned so bad his skin's peeling in chunks. You gotta be careful, you can see his ribs. Born in December, orphaned at four months, crap kicked out of him by everybody and everything and no food and... Mm, look at that bite mark. Uh, I feel like a mom. Mm. What is that feeling, James? Feeling like a mom. Describe it for us. It's like really happy. Even though the horse looks like a disaster? I don't care. He's mine. Greg can be the godfather. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I accept. <laughs> They're already making the connections. James is using the word mother. Yep. They're talking about it. They're bringing up these issues of adoption and acceptance. And so as they care for this horse and as they become more verbal as they're caring for the horse, the dots will connect. I guess I'm trying to put myself in his shoes. What it's like to, I guess I, I'm, I'm relating a lot to the horse right now, what it's like to be pushed away a lot. And even know that, you know, you're offered the chance to become good for yourself, like my parents have done for me, putting me here in Oxbow. It's just like, well, I'm not sure about it, so why do it? He, he doesn't know that there's better things for him because he's never had better. They, they don't understand that there is something better for them than what they've been living. I mean, maybe they don't feel they deserve it. Maybe they just don't know it's there. To be honest, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, and that's part of the experiential therapy, I guess, is go, you go in and you live the experience, and it is what it is. It, it wasn't a planned opportunity. This wasn't something that we went and sought after. I didn't look for an abused horse. I didn't look for a neglected horse. It just kind of just happened. The ones that have had a rough start tend to make the best horses. They trust in you completely after you've brought them back. So David, James, you two might be the first real source of nurturing and mm -hmm. love and consistency this horse has had. 
I'd say that's a really safe bet to take. We have a whole family now. You may be humans, but we still love you. That's what therapy is. Yep. Taking advantage of opportunities to gain insight, to heal from wounds, past trauma. It's the experience. I can't wait to see where it ends in four or five months. <laughs>